This week, we're going to cover risk management. Risk management, that's the technique or profession of assessing, minimizing, and preventing accidental loss to a business or entrepreneurial venture as through the use of insurance, safety measures, or other means. Risk management is something that, as an entrepreneur, you need to know how to deal with. You need to know what type of risk you're embarking on whenever you start a venture, and even after you start that venture. That's risk all throughout the life of a particular entrepreneur venture. I mean, anyone. I mean, it'd be from building houses. It could be from starting a grocery store. It could be from um, creating some new technology. There's risks involved in everything you do out here, specifically when it comes to business. In my life, I've utilized risk sometimes good, sometimes not so good. You know, in the not so good areas, you know, whenever I would purchase clothing to sell, I may purchase too much. Meaning that I may be stuck with out of season t-shirts or out of season pants or shoes. So that means that if I can't sell it, I just lost money on it. Or even in trading, when you're trading or investing, I may place a trade and may not actually hedge that particular trade. To kind of give you an example, since my background is in financial management, investing, and trading, it's very important to understand what you're investing in. It's very important to understand that if that investment goes against you, how much you're going to lose. And so now I'm, about to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to describe to you a little bit about derivatives. For good example, say for instance, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a hedger, and I buy um, 100 shares of Acme Incorporated, or any stock. Before I buy that stock, I make sure there's options on that stock. Because the options give you the right to buy or sell the, the asset. So... Say, for instance, I buy 100 shares of Acme stock at $10. Okay. That's $1,000. My, I, you know, since I'm buying it, I anticipate it to go up. Since I'm buying it low and trying to sell it high. But what if I buy it and it goes down? Then that means I just lost whatever the percentage it goes down. How I can protect myself, how I can manage my risk, is by per by basically buying a put, and a put, P U T, that basically gives you the right to sell the asset. So basically, I'm buying 100 shares of Acme at a thousand dollars, and I buy one put that covers 100 shares at, let's say, nine dollars. So save save if the, if the stock goes below nine dollars, I'm protected. That means that only thing I lose is 10%, $1. So if, it's, if I bought the stock, if I bought 100 shares at $10 and I bought a put at $9, I, I bought a put at $9, I mean, that means that if it goes below nine, then I'm protected, then I only risk a dollar. That's proper risk management. And, um, you know, that example, and many other examples are out there in libraries, on the internet, I mean everywhere. But in my case, I just manage the risk of owning this particular stock. The less I will, the most I can ever lose on this stock is a dollar for the simple fact that I decide to buy a put option at nine dollars. And basically, that put option, what I pay is a premium. So I, I pay that premium that, that gives me that authorizes me to sell that particular that particular put at a certain price. 
So risk management is something that all entrepreneurs need to understand. And we all need to understand what type of risk that that entail any venture that you plan on embarking on. Because if you don't, then it's kind of like um, gambling. Because when you gamble, you don't know what's going to happen. You're just taking a guess. But when you understand your risks, you know what you can lose. You know what the, you know, you know what the most you can lose. You know what the least you can lose. And if you know how to manage it, you shall have a long life in entrepreneurship. Thank you.